Maalala lang po, itong topic na to ay napaka-subjective. So, ang para sa akin ay iba sa iba. <laughs> so, I will not talk about a single mother, expenses, but I will talk about a single, just for me. Because my daughter, ever since my daughter came here in Germany, I never, really never spent any single cent uh, for my daughter. Because the government are providing allowances for the children. One is a general allowance, it's called Kindergeld, and one is a special allowance for the uh, single mom. So food, rent, it's covered. So I'm talking about just myself alone. So as of 2021, these are the most uh, expensive cities in, in Germany and these are the most uh, affordable cities in Germany. But I think it doesn't have any difference at all. In the end, you will have the same savings because here they offer a higher salary and here they don't have. They don't offer higher salary. <laughs> I had been to Munich and I bought coffee there which is 3 euro to 3.5 euro and here in Berlin you can just buy a coffee for just 2 euro to 2.5 euro so you can see the difference for me I'm located near Berlin so we are the city near Berlin just one station and we are already in Okay, so let's proceed to the first Baba Yaren, which is the house, the rent. How much is the rent here in Germany? The range is 200 to 500 euro and I am paying only 200 euro. So why is it so cheap? Because we are three in the house and it's divided by three of course the kid my my daughter is paying uh not so much as us because we have larger rooms and my daughter have just small rooms so nandun na po lahat kuryente tubig at internet 200 euro fix na po yun lahat so let's proceed to number two the food Yung food dito is, I can say, if you are so tipid, 5 euro per day is enough. So, 150 euro per month is yung tipid ka. Yung kunwari, bread-bread ka lang. Tapos yung hapon mo, adobo. Because one bread is just 1 euro. Mga palaman is just 1 euro. Oil is just 1 euro. 10 pieces of egg is just uh, 1.7 euro. Imagine mo yung tag si 60 pesos. It's so cheap. So 5 euro, I can say it's enough for a day if you are tipid. But for me, I will say 250 euro per month. And for the number three, it's the miscellaneous. It's 50 euro for the phone and internet. So, I 100 considered sa outing when we go out to meet friends in Berlin, to eat in a restaurant, to have some drinks. Yung padala sa Pinas. I haven't included here padala sa Pinas, which is I'm sending 500 euro every month approximately. I'm not sending any more allowances to my parents, just the car, the condo, and the insurances. And also additional expenses, of course, my braces, that is 150 euro per month. I did not include shopping and travels here because I'm getting them from my Christmas bonus and income tax return. I did not include Transpo because I'm just located uh, five minutes away from the hospital. So this amount is my monthly expenses. So this amount is my monthly savings. So ito na po talaga yung dederecho sa aking bank account. So with this amount, multiplied by 12 months 
ito po yung magiging ipon mo. I hope you like this video. If ever this video helped you in some way, please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I hope I have inspired some of the nurses that who will come here in Germany. And um, thank you. And my next video will be how did I became a registered nurse in Germany.